Brittany is the number one qualifier, and she ripped this joint yesterday when nobody else on the hot racetrack could run any quicker than 381. David Grubnick, Max Savage, dial in a 375 and rocketed Brittany to the number one qualifying spot again. She's got Jim Maroney over here in the left lane, and Jim Maroney might be a little bit of an unknown quantity. He is being sponsored by the Northwest Cornwell Tool Dealers, not corporate. But if you are a mechanic in the area, if you buy Cornwell Tools, it's you that's supporting this race car. The local dealers in this part making it happen. Now, Jim Maroney only qualified in the number 16 spot, but they did not get their third qualifying run. Had a malfunction in the clutch linkage. The clutch linkage actually broke in the staging lane. So even though Jim Maroney's in the number 16 qualifying spot, you cannot take him lightly. Can he step up and knock out the number one qualifier? Brittany comes in here on a heck of a roll after just dominating in Sonoma last week. And it's going to be all Brittany. 3.742. How about the speed? 332 miles an hour. Our first 330 mile an hour run of the weekend. A 414 for Jim Maroney. 226 miles an hour. He was hanging in there for a while. They had a nice showing out here for the Northwest Cornwell Tools dealers, but they didn't have nothing for Brittany. She runs low ET and top speed of the meet here in round number one. Jim Maroney was making a solid run. Right there he goes past the eighth mile. See a little puff and some smoke out of the pipes. That's going to get the over-the-wall gang taking a real close look at the lane down there. But that is a solid run for Brittany who resets her low ET.